Hey everyone, I'm here with another creation video and this time it's for an art toy. This is a vinyl art toy made by Unruly Industries and they sent this out to me to customize for DesignerCon last year. So you might have already seen pictures of this floating around on my Instagram, but I'm going to show you how I made the whole thing from start to finish. So this was quite a challenge because I really wasn't sure how to make it my own. It sort of, I felt like it was very outside of my style. So after a lot of brainstorming, I thought, well, you know, just put bunny ears on it for a start. <laughs> I don't know. I really, I don't have a lot of reasoning for why I did any of the things that I did. I'm not sure why I settled on a single eye. I just thought it would be cuter. It was just the first thing I thought when I saw it was Cyclops, so we just went with that. So first off I decided to make the bunny ears out of some chopsticks and tin foil. So I had to cut a hole in the bottom of it so that I could get inside it to be able to insert the eye and also affix the ears. I really didn't want to cut into it because the logo was on the bottom, but I did manage to save that. I ended up putting it all back together at the end. So the eyeball that I'm using is just a ping pong ball. It's covered in saran wrap just so that it doesn't stick to anything and that I can get the ball out afterwards. And it's just a placeholder because it's, you know, eyeball shaped and sized. In the end, I did go ahead and sculpt my own eyeball, which you'll see later. The splotch also had this little design on his tongue, super graphic looking little design. It was really cool, but it just wasn't gonna work with what I wanted. So I ended up covering that up. Once I got everything sculpted and looking the way I wanted it, then it was time to start painting. I used a mix of different paints, mostly Arteza paints for this, just because it's a really wide variety of colours and I had decided I wanted to do a rose pattern on the little latex suit. So first off I just went in and I darkened the cracks and the crevices so that after I airbrushed the skin on there wouldn't be any little missing bright bits in there.
I'm not really sure how to explain why I went with a green floral pattern suit. I just, I don't know, I got this idea that I just thought it'd be really cute if he had like a little chintzy floral kind of latex suit. <laughs> I wanted it to look a little bit old lady-ish, <laughs> like a sofa print. Making the eyeball was definitely a challenge. I decided I'd make a cast of the base shape of the eyeball so that in case I had to make it again, I could just cast up another one really quickly. This turned out to be a really good idea because I did make it twice. <laughs> the first one did not come out the way that I wanted it to. I ended up with some air bubbles in bad places and then I had also made a clear dome and that it was actually a really bad idea and once I put it on I absolutely hated it so there was no way to get it off because I had attached it with resin so I had to just remake the eye. filmmaking the mold. I thought I had, but apparently not. So this is just, you only get a video of me casting the eye blank. And this is Smoothcast 300 that I'm using. It's just a plain bright white resin. some sculpting and some detailing so that the eye has some texture to it. So this is actually the first eye I made, the one that I didn't end up using. It always works out like that. Usually I'll film the first go and then if I make a mistake, the second time around I won't film it because the second time around I'll just want to focus on getting it right because I don't want to have to do it three times. So that's why there's no footage of the second time. And I used this UV curing clear resin to make the clear dome. I think I got it from Daiso, 
I'm not actually sure where I got it from. I have a couple of them, but they're really great because they cure under UV light. So it's a very fast cure, so you can just sort of get it done really quickly. is the second one that I made that turned out much better than the first one. So because I always get asked, the paintbrush that I'm using for all of the little details and the eyelashes is a La Cornel Size Zero Liner Brush. So I have a couple of different brands and a couple of different sizes, but typically I always use a liner brush and it's usually always a size zero or a double zero.
I really wish I could have done some sort of animatronics inside it so that the eye would actually look around like that just would have been awesome oh my gosh but you know I don't have the skill for that so I had to just unfortunately glue the eye in <laughs> And if you're wondering how I got the splotch so shiny, I used Art Resin and I did two coats of this. It's a really easy resin to use. It's just a two-part resin. It does take quite a while to dry though. I did have to leave it overnight and so I did two layers so I kind of had to, you know, it took a minute to put it on and then let it cure and then do the second layer and let that cure. But it's very easy to work with and comes up looking nice. So I will leave links below to Unruly Industries website where you can go and check out their splotch. It's designed to be customized. I'm not sure if they have pictures of the show up. They might do. It was a really cool show. There were some really amazing customs there. I was so honored to be a part of this show. It was really an amazing experience. that's it guys thank you for watching and thank you to all of my patreons for supporting me it means so much to me i can't even express you guys make everything possible and you give me the encouragement to just keep on trying so i really appreciate your support all right i'll see you in the next video guys bye